Hi, this is Ramu, Associate Professor, Department of CSC, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. In today's class, we are going to concentrate on command line arguments. How command line arguments are different from the, our normal console input? See, in the console input, if you want to read the data from the console, you should use a scanf or get c, right? But in the command line arguments, the time of execution, you are going to provide the parameters. This is called as a command line arguments. The command line arguments, it is going to take the arguments in the view, in the view of main. If you observe clearly here, here c, in the main function it is going to say arg c and arg v, two arguments are there. So before going to this arg c and arg v, I am going to explain pass some value from the command line. This is the way is called as a command line arguments. Arg c is represented by how many arguments you passed. That is represented in the arg c. Count and arg v, it contains the values what you passed here. By default, please remember this is a very very important bit in term of competitive exams. By default, arg c value v is 1 even if you didn't pass anything. And by default, arg v of 0 contains dot exe file. Of, for example, file name dot txt. Right? By default, arg v of 0 contains file name dot exe and here the arg c value by default is 1, even if you didn't pass anything. Right? This is the syntax of the command line arguments. We will see with small example. So, this is a program will tell you how it is going to read the parameters using command line. See, first arg c and character. If you if initially you didn't pass anything, means c arg c value is 0, 1 only. Because what I said, if you didn't pass anything, the by default value is 1. And the argument supplied is percentage C, C. And if it is less than, too many arguments are supplied, or the arguments are supplied, or one of V value is going to display, right? Too many arguments. This is clear. Based on that arg C, just there will be a small example. This is clear. So, arg C contains uh, how many arguments you passed, right? If it is a 2, means arg V of 1, the value is there. Otherwise, Greater than means is a too many arguments applied. One argument is only expected. What is the one argument? That is the file name. File. We will see one by one how it will work. See, this is the program, right? Even I didn't pass anything. If you run this code, printf of percentage yes, comma, argv of zero. What is there in the argv of 0? What I say? So, this file name is test1, right? This file name is test1. See, so if you run this code, is this clear? So, it contains the absolute path of the file with the dot exe, not dot c. Please note this. Test1.c. They have given the two options. Is that contain test1.c or is that contain test1.exe, file name.exe? It contains executable file. Executable file name. This is clear. And sir, so how, how we are going to pause the values or parameters? So before going to that, I want to check what is the arg c value. If you want to check the arg c value, please run this code and you may display it for. Because why it is a 4 means already I paused some values. See, the parameters list I paused the 3 arguments. If you remove all these, you run this code, then you display 1 only. Is this clear? And I will tell you how you are going to pause the data. See, in execute, please note this, in the execute, there is a parameters are there. This is a parameters are there. If you open the parameters, you just provide the data here. 1, sorry, 1, to right and uh, hi hello please note this the data is in the form of string only all the data is in the form of string only see i'm going to print all the data see int i equal to zero for 
while i less than or the c right or the c percentage is arg v of i and you just use i plus plus you run this code c in display so you just use a slash in here then you will get more clarity on this c a display first file name 1 2 hi hello is this clear and you may have a doubt sir suppose i want to perform some operations you said that the data is in the form of string how how i am going to convert the data into the integer is there any way or uh, is there any functions are there yes one function is there that is the ascii to integer function so simply called as a to i ascii to integer of the number a string is converted into the integer please know this a to i right for example if you give a 5 then that value is converted to the 5 as an integer now we'll see perform the addition of the two values using command line addition of the two values using command line let us see how i'm going to write this code first we are going to perform addition of two numbers right so so that how many arguments you need to pass here two arguments yes or no first i want to give the two arguments 100 and i need to find 100 plus 200 what is the result here and before going to that you have to some exception handling is there right first how to perform only if it contains three arguments yes or no one argument is file name the remaining two arguments are whatever you have given what is it so the two values right first i need to check that if r the c is if is greater than is greater than or equal to three means it contains minimum three arguments then only we need to perform this operation so sorry it is a python sentence yes then printf of directly i'm going to, going to write the code printf of percentage d right a2 if you want you can store into the one variable that is also there is no issue on the particular value see first argument at i of first argument plus a2 i of arg v of second right so else else means printf less arguments if you run this code 300 got it got it it's a function this is the function that is going to perform or convert your string data into the integer type for example if you pass only one argument see if you pass only an argument then it doesn't perform any operation less arguments if you don't try this kind of scenario you will get a garbage values because you passed only a single value if you perform argument of argument of zero in in in, in argument of uh, one the hundred is there but you don't have any value here right so by default it is a garbage also then you will get the you will get the wrong answer that is why how to check it contains minimum three arguments then only it is possible to perform this is clear and uh, you may have one more doubt what it is see for example sir i have passed two arguments so ac and ead then what is the output if you run this code it's not a string right it's not a string so it is not in number right that is why it is going to the so by default value is zero is this clear so this is the way you're going to read the data from the command line arg c contains a number of arguments arg v contains the values which you passed by default value of arg c is one by default value of arg v of zero is file name as an executable file name 
please note this the competitive exam point of view they may ask what is the arg c value and what is the arg v and what is the default value of arg c and what is the value there in the arg v of 0 such kind of questions that they may you, you may faced in the competitive exams okay na no? so you can you can can find the factorial of given number using command line is this clear okay thank you thank you very much like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates